Raw, raw, okay. Man, don't give a shit about red lights. Full tank full of ghastly. We on breeze like fastly. Twin turbo, that's tactically. Drag race, no drag race. Swear. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're shooting another reaction video. Today's video, I've seen linked in the description a couple of times now. Street Racing Taxi The Suicide Evo. Uh, this video was shot in 2015, 2 million views and it's on the YouTube channel 1320 video. Hopefully I don't get copyright or striked like the critical video, the RS4 video. For some reason, I think somebody be hating. Not, not anyone in the comment section, but the creators of the video because the M5 video is fine, but did you realize I was a bit negative in the RS4 video, but anyway, yeah. But let's hope the channel don't get us dry. Can we don't have to shut the channel down? So yeah, let's get straight into it. Can't slow me down like speed hump. No. Keep up when I speed up. No. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. Been a little while, man. We might be a bit rusty. I know you see man's looking extra crispy today, yeah? HD trim. Let's do Suicide this. Evo. One of the craziest rides of 1320 video history. And in a country we've never been before. During the Stockholm Open, this was our ride from race to race to make sure we got there ahead of the crowds. So Firstly, I want to say I absolutely love Evos. I have filmed, I would say at least 10. Obviously, some of you will know that I had the Evo 6 RS as well. But the Evo 8, it was always the Evo 6 my favorite, but the Evo 8 was a close second. And so I suspect this is going to be just madness. What is going on with this motorway right now? So we could film what we need. These are some of the highlights of over an hour of crazy ride-along footage I captured riding shotgun and the Suicide Evo Sick. during the Stockholm Open Street Race. I started oh shit, Stockholm. And ended at 8 in the morning. <laughs> if I hadn't seen you driving like a maniac the past two days, I would be a little more scared. <laughs> Bro, America do it different, totally different to the UK. We've got bare fake street races in the UK. Bare people talking about ah, street setups. Bro, listen, America, they actually street race. Here we don't street race. Yeah, that's another, I've got another convo we need to speak about on Living Life Fast, to be fair. Stockholm Open was a whole new experience. We but look at this, these men lock off the motorway and race, no bullshit. Never had before. I didn't understand what the hurry was after the races where we had to hop in the Evo and get out of there. But so, okay, it's, it's called Suicide Evo, so I suspect. I thought it was gonna be some 2000 break Evo, but maybe the guy is literally just some psychopath driver. I've never seen this video, by the way. It became very clear when we showed up late to a race and we're stuck behind tons of cars. There was no way we could see or film the race. The pilot of the Suicide Evo, the Swig, or the Swedish Stig. <laughs> the Swig. And after seeing him drive around town for a few days before the race, I was a little more comfortable, but I had no idea what I was in for. The Swig <laughs> no way. from race to race, evading police, going flat out at <laughs> Bro, I had no idea that this is what the video is going to be. That's why you keep linking in the description. I didn't know. Over 170 miles an hour where the speedo maxed out, pushing cars out of the way, making it clear that he owned the fast lane. Yeah, if no. you've ever seen the getaway in Stockholm videos, this is probably as close as we're ever going to get. I was riding with a few of the Stockholm open regulars who had grown tired of the hundreds of newcomers to the underground street race and mocked many of them. Bro, yeah, this guy's nuts, isn't he? Oof, 1M coup. Come on. Oh shit. Other than getting myself and Kung Kemo Media to the races first so we could film what we needed to. So where are we? We're in Sweden right now. We were part of a small army of regulars who helped to manage the masses who showed up. Bro, slap man in the Evo 8. If you know how sick these things handle, even in 2022, baddest on road, 100%. I don't even find it cool to actually speed in a straight line. When I was younger, it was all about sort of top speed stuff. Don't get me wrong, I will go for it, or I used to go for it, should I say, but I'm more about how fast you can take a corner. Do you know what I mean? I'm not talking about a corner on the motorway doing flat 160, 170. I've done done that a lot, but this is like, it's actually stupidity, isn't it? More than anything. I'm not trying to be a granddad right now. I just, like, it's a motorway. Oof, M3 convertible, what the? Bro, where the hell are we, man? Welcome to 
suicide evo, yeah? Come on, bro, show, show us something then. <laughs> He's got the back end out, look. <laughs> it's probably stopped this car, maybe a stage one tune. Probably like 400 ish, 450 max. Raw, raw, okay. Calls where we had to run from the police. The first one was when we made a crazy U turn in front of a group of cars, and the driver looked in his rearview mirror to see police lights. We ran for over five miles through downtown. My guy, the YouTuber, just there in it, the owner of 1320, thinking, What am I doing, bro? Man's going to jail. Running stoplights, flying through blind intersections to later find out that it was actually his friend who had fake police lights in his car. <laughs> Are you being serious right now? It's his brethren in the car with blue lights chasing him. Later that night, we flew past a cop at over 100 miles an hour. Didn't think he was going to do anything, but then we got a call that he was after us. I'm laughing because the guy, he's like, he must have been so pissed off in it. You know, certain man, they ain't about this lifestyle. I'm, listen, I'm not about this lifestyle, yeah, like, but you know, this guy is just a, probably a normal boy. He films his content in America, but this is just, this is another level, isn't it, right? You're talking jail type. A few minutes later, we fly past another cop that's going the other way with his lights on. We knew he was coming for us. So oh, we pushed the suicide Evo to the limits, <laughs> sliding around the country roads, the swig. flying through intersections to make it to Fuck an industrial yeah, no. park. Bro, right, look at him line. spinning it. Unfortunately, because of that close call, we missed a race, but then we were on to the next one. Madness. Ross. See the manifold. Madness. Bro, these men really are about that lifestyle, aren't they? Fuck you, yeah, no. Madness. Straight through red lights, busting them one time. <laughs> back, he's got the back end out there. Bro, these cars are so sick to drive. Like cheating. 997 Turbo. Poor Serbo, is he on him or is that blue lights? I don't know. Man don't give a shit about red lights. <laughs> Remember, I don't condone this behavior. Any kids watching, don't you dare do this shit, yeah? This is just videos. We watch this on the TV, yeah? You don't go do it in real life. I have been reading some comments as well, like, people are like, how can you be promoting this? I'm like, guys, am I really promoting this by, like, okay, I know that a lot of it has been police chase content, but am I really promoting it? Like, guys, I grew up myself, always wanted to drive the shit out of cars, but never would I watch police chase videos and go, right, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna go get chased by the police. It's like, what do people think that people go out and decide to get chased by the police? I mean, look, Sweden, <laughs> I mean, these guys obviously do, but, and I know we do live in a different time right now. Right now 2022 social media everyone's just working out how to get clout but come on it's like this you know them same people that think playing grand fifth auto that your kid's gonna go out and murk people don't be silly man like if you go out and murk somebody because you played grand fifth auto bro you've got other problems yeah it's nothing to do with influence you've got other problems 100 percent e30 touring Fuck it, no. I mean, it is crazy, isn't it? Because this guy who's in the car right now, he's um, got a massive YouTube channel. It just shows a bit of the mindset, isn't it, of these people in Sweden. They clearly don't give a fuck, do they? It's like, you know, when I'm in the car with certain people, like, I'll have it out, don't get me wrong. But I'm always a bit cautious, like, you know, if I've got the missus in the car or certain individuals, I'm not going to go, you know, 10 temps. Do you know what I mean? Like, especially having someone like this and like these motherfuckers that don't give a shit. They're just like ragging it, looking to just whatever. Absolute boom, cut that there and boom. It'd be nice if it was a 6700 brake either though, wouldn't it? 
Look, the back end come out and he's lovely. And you know with these Evos, like you know with you, uh, normal rear wheel drive cars, when the back steps out, you usually have to catch the slide and correct it, yeah? With the Evos, the back come out and like with the differentials, they just automatically correct. So you don't have to actually catch a lot. You just literally hold on and just steer into the, into the slide basically. Sick. Look, back coming out. I bet he's not doing anything on the wheel. I bet he's just holding it, just. Bro, mad, mad, mad. And I mean, he's definitely what? Three, four hundred break? Max, max four hundred. I mean, this guy surely isn't enjoying being in this car. He can't be enjoying it, surely not. This guy's ghetto though, when it left America to shoot this. He ran this brand new Audi RS6. We let him pass us and then gave him a run for his money. He could keep up in the streets, but when it came to the corners, we were on his ass, flashing our lights, we eventually passed him. Afterwards, he pulled up next to us in disbelief as he saw our car was packed full of people as well and gave us <laughs> Madness. Snake. Snake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys have five people? What'd they say? They say stock. Yeah. Is this stock? <laughs> What's his pension? <laughs> How much did you pay for that Audi? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty lit. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually sick. Let's read a couple of the top comments. So this was six years ago. Inside ride, one of those times where I would prefer not to be on the driver's seat. Craigslist be like, garage kept, never race, mild wear, tires still have good tread, mostly gentle highway marks. An average driver couldn't have done this. Dude must have some mad skills and experience. Probably with some luck too. Would have been nice to know what it's got under the hood. I reckon it's pretty stock. The thing I learned about this video is that if you want a reliable saloon car that can cruise 170 by an Evo, yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Like, it just goes to show you how reliable the car is because you know that guy's beating the hell out of it, right? Like, yeah, man, I appreciate it. whoever linked that in the description. I see it a couple of times. So, yeah, keep linking them down, man. That's an awesome video. And as I say, Evo, one of my all time favorite cars. Like, there's not many cars you could go out and do that in. I mean, the RS4s look, they're all wheel drive, they've got the Quattro system, but they would start to crumble after a tear up like that. Well, how many I say that? Look, we just bought some other RS4. You know, ignore what I just said there. But the Evo, yeah, you can't compare it. You can't compare it, much lighter. Handling is just a whole nother dimension. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it there. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Can't slow me down like speed hum. No. Keep up no. when I speed up. No. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. See your girl, she's in my car. Mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel, that's five stars. Yeah. Make the roof disappear.